Hello and very warm welcome. Thanks very much for staying with us. You're watching Beyond World is One with me, Raisha Segal. There's lots to have on the show, but first a quick check on the headlines. U.S. President Joe Biden asserts he will not step aside as Democrat contestant for the White House race, says he'll return to the campaign trail next week. This as at least nine more Democrat lawmakers press on him to drop out. Death toll in violent clashes in Bangladesh rises to 105. Curfew imposed in Dhaka and military deployed to maintain order. Indian High Commission in Bangladesh facilitating movement of Indian nationals back to India. Most services hit by the global tech outage on Friday, recovering after several hours of disruptions. Cybersecurity firm CrowdStrikes admits it could be it could take some time before all systems are back up, though it stresses this was not a cyber attack. Iran capable of producing material for a nuclear weapons within one or two weeks, says U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken. He blames it on the end of the U.S.-Iran nuclear deal. Hamas calls for immediate international action against what it calls Israeli occupation of Palestinian territories. After the ICJ ruled it was illegal, Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas calls it a triumph for justice. U.S. Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump says he spoke on the phone with Ukrainian counterpart Vladimir Zelensky. Trump has pledged to end the country's war with Ukraine. High alert sounded across South and Central Europe over record high temperatures. Massive firefighting and evacuation measures in Bulgaria amid devastating wildfires, with neighboring countries extending support. <laughs> 